Today we are going to talk about lighting setups for your YouTube videos to make them look better, feel better and uh, all that stuff in between. And when I say YouTube videos, I mean that we're going to break down the set that I got right here and how I light this entire set and what every light do in the background and here and everything that you can see basically. And then we're going to jump into the unboxing that I got in my videos and the top down shots, how I think when I light those and what to think of when you're doing those and also how I shoot my product B-roll and what to think of when you are shooting product B-roll. And we're actually gonna do all of this right here on this table. And I also wanna say that if this is your first time uh, watching this channel, hey, hope everything's good with you. Welcome and uh, I hope you will enjoy this video. <laughs> So before I jump into the lighting setup, I just want to start out by saying a huge thank you to Nanlite because I just signed up as a Nanlite Global Ambassador, which I'm super proud of to be because my entire office is almost built around the Nanlite Pavo tubes and the Nanlite Forzas and I'm super grateful to be a part of their team and be a part of the brand that I've been working with for I think the last couple of two years. Couple, do you say last couple of two years? For the last two years. I'm super honored. I'm super grateful and I really hope that this is gonna help make the content that I can give you even better. And if you're staying till the end of the video, we are going to have one huge giveaway of lights that I really want you to participate in. So stay tuned, but let's dive into the first set and that is the main set. I remember when I created my first YouTube video in my kitchen in our one room flat that we had and I had no clue about lighting. I didn't know like what to think of when I set up light and everything just looks like kind of boring and I remember I had like the, the kitchen lights on. It was, wasn't even dedicated video lights and I know that these things are very expensive for a lot of people and it's also something that you don't start out with to begin with. But if you have some money to invest into lighting, I highly suggest you do that because there's no such thing that would make your videos look better other than light. And if you've seen my desk setup video, then you probably know that the main light that I got right here is a Forza 300 with a 90 centimeter softbox that I have at approximately a 45 degree angle towards me so that it lights up me my face and basically this side and gives me this like nice even look and the soft box helps, hell, ha, ha, helps to smoothen out the light so it looks soft, looks clean, it's looks very professional because without the soft box it would look extremely harsh. And when you're looking around in the office you can also see that there's a bunch of different things that, uh, here in the background such as two Pavo tubes right here, my logo, we have two Pavo tubes right here as well and then one Pavo tube here and then here outside the new studio, we have a couple of other power tubes. The reason that I have them in the background is to provide some depth for the video. Let me show you the difference by turning off all the lights in the background. Oh. So. Oh. I'm also gonna turn off the ambiance lights that I got here, which is Philips Hue lights. And we're also gonna turn off the logo. Oh. Hey, this looks really good. Like this is a very good starting point because you have a nice soft light coming from an angle. And usually I have my lights set to around 14 or 15%, depending on what kind of video that I'm shooting. If I wanna go even higher, then it's usually because I'm using a higher frame rate. But whenever I'm shooting these talking head videos, 14% more than enough because it gives us a nice soft light. If I crank it up, it's gonna look even harsher. So I wanna keep it low and keep the ISO at around, I think like 1000, 1250. But as you can see in the background, we don't have any separation between me and the background. It doesn't look like the background is actually there. It looks like it's just a like black backdrop. It doesn't give us any depth into the shot. But when we start playing around with lights, that is when the entire background comes to life. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start with my Philips Hue. And already you can see that 
it gives us a more interesting set to look at than what we had before because now we actually have something going on in the background and it gives us a sense of depth from me as the main subject towards the background. And another thing that you can do to separate you even more from the background is to turn on some sort of rim light or hair light. And up here on the roof, as you can see, I have Nanlite Forza 300 as well, just outside of frame. But if we turn it on, then it's gonna look like this. And already you can see that I'm a little bit separated from the background more than I was before. But this side of my face is a little bit dark in my opinion. And I want to have a little bit of like a fill light coming in from this side or the rim light as we can say. So this is what it's going to look like when we turn that on. And all of a sudden you can see that my face is given a little bit more like three-dimensional look because we have the main light coming from this side and then we have the back or the rim light coming from over here but it also gives us a little bit of depth into the background so it has like multiple purposes with this light right here one of the ambitions with my set is to make it interesting to look at and that is also why i have the teal and orange look here in the background so let's turn them on and they have this look, which I think looks pretty good. And this has also become like some sort of like sign that this is my studio because I, I've had these in the background ever since I built the studio basically. To give the entire background a little bit more light, I also have a light over here that serves its purpose of brightening things up. So let's turn that on. And now you can see that it starts to come alive. It looks way more interesting. It's way more depth into the entire background. It has some glow here on the ground. You can see some glow here. Oh, and there's something we forgot. The logo. Gotta have that on. Mm. Playing around with lights is actually something that I think is extremely fun. It's something that I've come to enjoy when I've built this entire studio because the more that I've placed out things here in the studio, I've also tried to incorporate the lighting and make it look so that everything is a part of the set. So all the lights that you see in frame actually fills a purpose to achieve this main frame that I have when I do my talking head videos. Another thing that I thought was really hard when I was doing my YouTube videos at home was trying to find a good way of lighting up a top-down shot. Because I remember just like trying to place the light up top and then the camera under and then it never really looked good. So let me show you how I do the top-down shot and make the unboxing feel like, hmm, this looks good. So as you probably know, if you watched my desk setup video, I do have a tripod mounted to the ceiling where I do all my unboxing. And it's just like putting the camera into the tripod and then I have like a free space to move around with. And I also keep this light as my main light whenever I'm doing any kind of unboxing so that this is like the standard lighting source that I got. And then from there, try to build some depth with different kind of like power tubes and things that I can come up with. So this set up what it looks like when I am only using the main light over here as my only light source. But when I'm doing any kind of unboxing, it kind of looks a little bit, I don't know, when you move up, it looks pretty good, but it doesn't give us this 3D effect that I wanna have when I'm doing unboxing. And it also doesn't give us an RGB tone so let's see what we can do. I'm gonna take a Nanlite Pavotube 15C, which is the small version of the Pavotubes. And usually what I do is that I have it set to like a blue hue, and then I'll place it just outside of frame. Now you can see that we have a little bit of 3D effect when we're doing the unboxing. So we have the main light over here, and we have the rim light over here. And I think this looks very good. This is like a two light setup that looks extremely professional. So what you can do is that you can take another one and then you can turn it to white. I'm gonna have it to, let's see here, uh, CCT of 5,600. Then we're gonna dim it down to like five. And I wanna place it over here on this side so that it gives us a little bit more rim light coming from below instead of just from above. So whenever I'm lifting the product up, you can see that we have a nice 3D feeling towards the mat, the product, and uh, overall it looks very good. And this is the way that I light my videos, but you can also change this light over here so that it's white and then it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna have a more neutral look that doesn't look too high tech, but it still looks very good and still has this like 3D effect on my hands as well. So 
this is usually how I light up my top-down shots, unboxing shots, and uh, everything that I'm shooting from this angle. So whenever I'm shooting any kind of like product B-roll, I always shoot towards this side of the office, mainly because I wanna have the depth and the background to be very much vivid and alive and not only show this like boring curtain that I got here. The lighting setup is basically the same as we had with top down shot because now we have some light coming from this side. We have the main light coming from up here and then we have some fill light coming over here as well. And then I also have a new mix panel at 150 watts that is bouncing off from the roof and gives us a little bit of a bu <laughs> blue hue on the products as well. Because if we turn it off, we don't have as much of like fill light here. But if we turn it on, it's gonna look way better and give us like more of a smooth blue hue to the product B-roll as well. And usually when I'm shooting the B-rolls, I also wanna make sure that I'm using a lens with 2.8 aperture. So right now I'm using the Tamron 2875 to give us that like wide look, but also a little bit of macro. And then we can go in to like 75 if we really wanna show off like those detail and isolate the product from the background. And also since I'm shooting an S-log, I wanna make sure that I properly expose the shot. So right now, it is at plus 0.3 on the exposure compensation. And I wanna make sure that we have it set to 1.7. So we're gonna crank it up to ISO 8000 for these shots. And of course, we're gonna turn off the autofocus as well so that we have instant control of every setting that we can. Back and forth. And we can move a little bit closer. And I'm going to put it like so. Since we're shooting this at 100 FPS, it's going to be super easy to slow it down and get those like super clean, smooth shots. And what I usually do is that I try to find like good different angles that I can make this interesting and get different shots so that it doesn't feel like I just had the product placed at the same place and then just shooting from different angles. Because when you move the product, it's gonna change the light, it's gonna give you a more interesting shot and it's also going to make the overall video way more interesting because you actually spend some time moving around the product to make it more interesting. That's basically how I set up when I'm shooting my product B-rolls. But for the future, we're also going to shoot some product B-roll out here in the new studio as well. But right now it looks like shit because there's been so much cleaning out of the office and trying to like do a storage management uh, here. So this is gonna get cleaned out. We have a new big softbox right here. We have a new mix panel right here. So I'm super excited to see what I can produce out here as well. Let's go back into the office. Ha! <laughs> so now that you know, oh, a little for you. So what? So now you know everything about the lighting that I have here in my main set and how I shoot my product B-rolls, do my top-down shots. I thought we should celebrate by doing a big giveaway together with Nanlite. And I actually want to give away a Nanlite Forza 300 together with a 90 centimeter softbox and grid and also two Nanlite Pavo Tubes 30C. And here are the rules. I want to see a video on how you light your YouTube set. Maybe in your kitchen, your wardrobe, your uh, toilets. I, I don't really care. I just wanna see how you light your own set. And I also wanna have a explanation or motivational video on what these lights would mean to you on your journey as a content creator. And I want you to upload this onto your Instagram and I want you to tag Nanlite Global and use the hashtag Nanlite My Setup. I'm gonna give you three weeks from when this video was uploaded to participate. And uh, then I will look through all the different submissions and we're gonna announce a winner three weeks from now. And I'm super eager to see how your setup looks like and what I can do to help you to improve your journey as a content creator. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up because uh, that would be highly appreciated. And if you're here when the giveaway is over, 
I'm so sorry that you didn't make it in time, but I'm really glad that you watched the video all the way through. So thanks so much for that. And uh, oh, I will see you in the next video. Peter from Sweden saying goodbye.